So while we are unpacked, we just unpackaged our uh, crate with the parts for the tail cone and empennage kit. And uh, even before I start my inventory verification, inventory check, so what actually came with the um, with the shipment? So first of all, we have this uh, packing list enclosed in this envelope. So basically, what we have here is all right. So first of all, this is the card for insurance. Okay, so once I have my airplane done, well, I have to insure with them. I mean, I may choose them as my insurance company, but since I'm in Canada, I guess it's going to be easier for me to go with someone local here. So now, uh, basically, this is the impenage packet package. Okay, some information about the uh, lettering um, types, what they use as the abbrevi 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 abbreviations, initial letters, blah blah blah, all information. And this is most important part for us, it's our list of inventory, right? So here we have how many pieces were shipped, the port number, if it was included or not, I guess this line means it has been included, the name of the part, and we have to go through each, 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 each part, ensure it's delivered to us. Very good. So this is a work, uh, job for me for today, and that's, well, that's gonna be fun to check everything and here is I guess our assembly class let's take a look what do we have here yeah right so this is builders manual for the empennage tile tail cone I guess okay so we already have a hose here right away pre punched so we have this nice binder we can attach it and use it like that very good thank you Hans it's good and yeah, what is inside? Let's take a look. Well, yeah, as I expected, it's a whole plants. Plants for the airplane, very good. And you know what, I guess, is it only for the tail cone or is it for everything? Yeah, it looks like it's only for the tail cone, it's not for everything yet. Well, this is too small to be the plants for everything. Anyway, you will see that later. And we have two nice posters here, right? Or one, no, just two, yeah, right. Okay, the poster number one shows whole airplane. Yeah, I'll put it on the wall, definitely. Just to make things simpler. And, wow, okay, good. This one will go to the wall, definitely, as well. Let me put it aside. And this is a beautiful airplane I will be working on. Actually, I already start to work on it, starting yesterday, when I brought it in. Perfect! Alright, so, I'm starting my inventory now, it's gonna take me some time. Um, just a few quick words about the uh, package I received. Well, it's really well packaged. So far, I haven't, uh, I haven't checked any parts yet, but from what I can see, it's very well packaged. So, it's strong. It's it can survive, I guess, any sort of shipping. And uh, yeah, I like how the Avance packaged it. Uh, I will let you know more as soon as I go through inventory. So I'm starting my inventory now. And uh, well, uh, by the time I'm gonna be going through it, I'll probably make a few more uh, videos. But so far it's just routine job. Well, I have to pick the part from the box find its part number, check versus the packaging enclosed list, make sure it's actually delivered to me. And at the end of the day, once I have all parts removed from the box and placed to my shelf, 
I will like to have to just see if anything on the list on the list still left unchecked by me, not marked by me, means that was not included. But I hope it's not my case, but well, who knows, I mean, we're all humans, whoever was packaging this could miss something, so we will see that. And yeah, I will make it probably a few shots during the, um, during the uh, process, but so far I like very much how everything is packaged. Van, Van did a great job, like it, everything looks perfect, it's strong, the box itself is strong, and you know what I think, that actually this box, uh, the top cover and bottom cover, that plywood on top, it's uh, 4x8, despite the box is 4x10, but they used a piece of 2, inch, uh, two feet wide uh, and another is 8. I probably can build a nice extra like workbench, well, probably something like low, lower one, maybe like about 20, 20 inches from the floor, just to start with. Uh, I mean, it's a good idea probably, I don't know, I, I will think, but I just don't want to use and to waste, I mean, I, did, I don't want to waste and just uh, uh, throw away this uh, wood because I can really use it and I can just quickly build some a nice bench, but as an idea, I don't know, maybe it's gonna work. Anyway, you will see that soon. percent through the inventory process <laughs> well so far I found well it's quite easy to do an inventory because um, like all those mini sub kits are packaged together so you just basically find the, the appropriate sub kit and uh, you just go through it it's easy though important note that some parts doesn't have any markings like for example like you take a sub kit number five and you just go through inventory and you see that couple, like two parts, for example, says like aluminum angle or tie down kit, for example. It, and those parts basically it's just plain aluminum piece which has no markings. So, what I do, I just use the Sharpie and I just simply write on it the uh, its part number according to the packing slip. Just, just to simplify my life uh, later when I'm gonna be in need of that part. So. I won't be thinking. I know it. I know it's this part going to be shown on the picture, but still, like at least I have its part number written on it. Aside of that, well, so far so good. Slowly but surely. packing list and uh, with verification of all my parts. Well, so far so good. Everything is in and nothing is missing. I'm even surprised because of well, that. It's really lots of parts. Well, I, uh, it took about five hours to do the complete check of the um, shipment, verify each part, almost every part because, well, let's say the um, some very tiny parts uh, just like rivets, I didn't even, I wasn't able to count those, we have hundreds and hundreds of rivets, right? But the rest was um, uh, verified by me. So I'm happy because I have everything and um, if I'm lucky and not to scrap any of those parts uh, within the time uh, during the assembly, so I must be able to assemble the all over and from those parts. Uh, I was able actually to put everything on this tiny little shelf. Not everything, but mostly everything. 
but I'm still planning to move things around a little bit because I don't want that big weight to push on the bottom aluminum parts just to avoid bending, you know. So that's it, five hours time for today. I'm done with my verification of the list. I marked down everything and I, uh, using Sharpie, I just wrote wherever there were like about maybe 10 aluminum parts which had no stickers with the part number. So I just wrote that just for my future reference. And that's it, my next step will be to start on the next day uh, to work with the uh, instruction, basically, and uh, start the first step. And you will witness that because I'm gonna make a video of that and you will see how it's going.